How many first draw PP lo PPP loans have been approved to Planned Parenthood affiliates? So specifically on, um, on specific borrowers, the SBA has not commented on specific borrowers. Well, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm in charge of oversight over your trillion-dollar agency, and I'm asking you, how many have been approved? Well, we don't publicly uh, release that information. And one thing So you that, are in defiance of Congress. You will do what you want, not what Congress wants. We have provided you a full listing. The, the You have not provided us with any listing of Planned Parenthood affiliates who have received money. This is an ongoing problem. The previous administration said it was unlawful. This is a big deal. The previous administration said it was unlawful and told them to return the money. Your administration is now giving them money. This is a legal question. This is a big deal. This isn't something you come to Congress and just say, I'm not going to answer the questions. Not at all. While I can't discuss specific borrower information, we no, you, you, no, one, no one is stopping you from discussing this. In your written testimony, you discussed an individual recipient of, of money through the program. So you are willing to talk about individual recipients. You're just not willing to talk about Planned Parenthood. But there is a legal question here. We want to know how many first draw loans were given. We want to know how many second draw loans. We want to know, since Patrick Kelly, your associate, came here and told us that the affiliate rule has not been reversed. The affiliate rule predated, as far as I'm concerned, the Trump administration. It goes back decades because it was done to protect small businesses. So small business programs were supposed to go to small businesses, not big businesses. So Planned Parenthood has 16,000 employees. The previous administration determined that they're a big business, and yet you continue to give them money, and you won't tell us how much you're giving. You won't tell us if you've reversed your policy. Have you reversed the longstanding affiliate policy that has been part of the Small Business Administration for decades? No, we have not. And if I may, I, what we did provide to you is the full listing of all of the PPP loans. So it wasn't, we don't have a specific PPP file, but we did provide to your staff the full listing so that you could look at all of that information, including any Planned Parenthood. Um, you know, specifically on the affiliation rule, nothing has changed um, with that regard. However, what I would say is that um, you know, it, specifically the uh, on affiliation, the, what applies here is management. Uh, apparently the data you sent us that was in collection was sent months ago and doesn't include the new loans. So we want to know about the new loans. I think we discovered the old loans, and now we'd like to know about the new loans. But then we have to have an answer. If it's illegal, according to the small business office, to give money to Planned Parenthood, how did it become legal if you haven't changed the policy? So the previous administration said they are a big business. They said give the money back. You're giving money to the people that the small administration said it was illegal to give money to. That is a conundrum. That is a real problem. And, and if I could speak to that letter, that letter was not a policy um, statement. It was not process. In fact, the letter doesn't exist in SBA systems as it's not... Um, it's not which a letter? Process. Which letter? The, the, letter, the letter that you referenced before in your letters to us about this issue um, specifically. And so we don't have... But what are you talking about? The letter, what letter are you talking about? You're talking about the policy? It's not a policy. How PPP... So you're saying that the previous administration, when they denied funds to Planned Parenthood, they did not refer to a policy? They did not refer to the affiliate policy, which is the... Pol you're That's saying the right. affiliate policy is not a policy? The affiliation rule is a policy. Um, what they were referring to was general. The affiliation rule, as we shared with you in our recent letter to you, and I apologize, that was yesterday, um, so I'm not sure if you've had a chance to review it, um, but affiliation ar arises under certain, um, under certain circumstances. Some of them don't apply to nonprofits in the case of ownership or board, um, you know, excuse me, stock options or um, relations, identity of interest, which is more for foundations, but where this does apply is on management. Um, and that's either where there's control of the officers. But, um, but you can see how uh, common sense would dictate that you would put something forward saying that you've now reinterpreted the policy to say Planned Parenthood is no longer a big business, but a small business. Well, because you're, you're working in direct contradiction to the previous Small Business Administration that said they are a big business. They went through all the same rules you're listing for me, and they concluded 
that yes, Planned Parenthood had direct control over the affiliates, that the policies and the actions were dependent on the national branch, and that they did not meet the definition of a small business. And so you are aware that not only is Planned Parenthood a politically controversial agent, you know, uh, entity, but it's also one that the rest of government has controls on. We have put the Hyde Amendment in for decades to try to prevent taxpayer money from paying for abortion. Mm -hmm. But now you're going around the Hyde Amendment, giving them money, but then you're also reclassifying them as in not a big business, as a small business, but you're not being forthright. And, and if I may, I did not say that the, I'm not judging on the policy specifically with affiliation for a specific borrower, because again, we do not do that. I'm sharing the affiliation rule with you um, for, your, um, for your guidance. However, um, we don't, basically the borrowers attest to certain eligibility and the lenders can rely on that attestation. The, you know, the SBA doesn't directly. Um, but they were ruled them. illegal by the Small Business Administration and you're reversing that policy and you're saying, oh, we don't ever look at this. Somebody else, it's a self-attestation. Well, someone determined that they were illegally getting the money and told them to get it back and now they're getting the money. I don't know how that can happen without an explanation from the Small Business and then the S And then just to add on to that, the, the, the point at which SBA would look at that would be at the point of forgiveness. And so that prior you know, relationship is attestation by the borrower um, to the lender. The but that's lender. not the way, you know, when uh, I think uh, it was Patrick uh, Kelly, when he testified, he said you had thousands of ones that you had reviewed for honesty and whether or not they had been honest in it. And there were lists of people that hadn't been. And apparently Planned Parenthood was on the list. They're still on the list. So they're on a list of people illegally getting it. The policy was send it back, and now you're sending them more. You can see how it doesn't make sense to us. So, and, and then you're unwilling to comment on it, and you're unwilling to give us information. So my conclusion is that you believe you are above the law. And my only conclusion is that we still want the information. We are here for oversight that our next step would be to subpoena you. But that doesn't, that's, that's a disappointment to me because when, when, when I voted for you, I thought you said you would be transparent, and it looks like you're specifically hiding this information from us. And I, I just uh, one other thing to note is that, again, as we go through forgiveness and the SBA then starts to look at these loans, um, that's when you know, hold codes can arise as well. Under those circumstances, you know, we'd be happy to continue to work with your staff um, to provide further information. Uh, but again, uh, you know, SBA at this point in those loan processes is, is obviously relying on the attestation of the borrowers as well as the lenders. So today, no Planned Parenthood has been forgiven. No Planned Parenthood loan has been forgiven. That's correct. So, so you know the information. You're just not willing to reveal it. So you know all about their information. The record should state you're unwilling to give the information to Congress. 